Yo, what is going on guys? It's the Cap here, bringing you guys podcast number two of the series. It is a little late in the week for this, but I did not know very much news to share with you guys, and there wasn't a ton of stuff going on that really was interesting. Now that I have that news, I want to share it with you. Starting out with the Xbox Scorpio, it is going to be between five and $600, which is insanely high, considering that if you did want to go out and pick up a PS4 Pro, you would get that for around $400 and then $459 for the online service for a year. So you're paying between $5 and $600 for the Xbox Scorpio. Plus, you're going to have another $50 stacked on top of that. So around $550, $560 for 12 months of service and so on. Right now, they are saying that the GPU is going to compare somewhere around a 1070, which I find really unlikely But they are saying 4K gaming is something that is going to occur on the console. And I just, I don't see this being very likely considering that there are not going to be any games that are specifically designed for the Xbox Scorpio. They have to be able to run on the Xbox One and then they're going to run on the Xbox Scorpio too. But I don't really think it's going to be that beneficial, you know. They can't just have games that run on the Scorpio and not on the Xbox One. So I don't really see there being games that are going to be taking that use to a full level you know 1070 performance i really don't think it's going to be anywhere close to that there's going to be liquid cooling involved inside the xbox scorpio i don't really know very much about it i just know that it was there when i read about it 12 gigabytes of gddr5 ram so that's a little bit more than the ps4 pro and a 4k blu-ray the one thing that the xbox scorpio is not going to be though is what the nintendo switch is and you're not going to be able to take it on the go well, I mean, you really, you, you could take it on the go, but it's it's very not likely that you're going to be doing that. You're not going to be carrying it around with a screen and playing it. That's just not something that people do. And I think the Nintendo Switch is meant to hit a different market than the Xbox Warbio is. Moving on from that, Microsoft is going to be releasing their own Amazon Echo, Cortana on a speaker. Now, they partnered with a company at the moment, I can't remember the name, But I wonder how this is going to stack up to Google Home or Amazon's own Echo. Also, Cortana will now help you set up your new Windows 10 PC. So you can use your voice to set up the computer. Kind of a cool concept, but I really don't know how well this is going to kick off. Considering people don't even want to share their voice with Microsoft, really. I mean, there's so many privacy concerns right now that they don't want to share anything with Microsoft. Remedy Entertainment an Xbox One exclusive developer will be breaking out to a wider range of platforms. In case you guys don't know, Remedy Entertainment were the creators of Quantum Break, and Quantum Break was a fantastic game. Aside from a few quirks, it was a good game. I never got to play it, but I just know that watching playthroughs, it was a fantastic game. Call of Duty Black Ops 2, now backwards compatible on Xbox One. For those of you who want to know, League Play will not be available. I kind of understand this moving on to a little bit of different console news the nes classic is canceled so in nintendo's you know thought i guess if the community likes something we're gonna get rid of it a lot of people were not able to get their hands on an nes classic and now you just made it way harder for those people to get their hands on an nes classic so thank you nintendo You're going to have to go on to Amazon, try to find, you know, a scalper that's still selling it. And you're probably going to be paying twice to triple the price of what an NES Classic cost, which was $60. Some more graphics card news. The Titan XP, a $1,200 GPU. That is quite insane, but okay, $1,200. That's what most of us spend on our computers, I'm guessing. Sorry to you 1080 Ti owners, but you no longer have the fastest GPU on the market. The YouTube Partnership Program Update. You're going to need 10,000 channel views to have ads on your uh, videos and stuff like that. I think this is a very good move on YouTube's part because advertisers were boycotting YouTube and AdSense and such. And now with Google coming in and adding this update, Advertisers are beginning to come back after that boycott scare. And lastly, the Samsung Galaxy S8 is a week from launch. That is right, one week from launch, 
the Samsung Galaxy S8 will be out and people will have it. I think that the Galaxy S8 is going to be a fantastic phone. There's always going to be quirks when things come out, but it's going to be one of the best phones you can buy, and I think it will be for a pretty long time. Also, there are rumors of a rugged S8 in the works with AT&T. I really wish they could bring this uh, server-wide and not just have it with one service provider, but oh well. So I hope you all enjoy your Easter break or holiday break if you guys don't celebrate Easter. And as always, it's been your boy Cap, and don't forget to keep it classy. Peace out, guys.